All right, guys, here's a trail that comes out of the weeds right over here, comes right through here. Okay, guys, I'm going to put the trap right in here somewhere because this is a little bit of a hump right here from here to here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but the water, when the water comes down through here, it's going to go this way. You can see where it's eroding the ground a little bit here, and it's going to come over this way. And run off this way so it's going to protect my trap in this area a little bit more than if i put it over there or over here where the water's running through so i'll keep a little bit of the runoff coming down this hill off of it but yeah it's going to be right in here i went and got me a uh, piece of wood laying over there and i'm going to plant this right in here behind my trap i'm going to see if i can where i can get my trap in first according to the rocks and then i'll position this according to where the trap is so stand by. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and put my post. Now here's my pan. So I'm gonna come back nine inches and I'm gonna go this way on this one. So nine and three, I'm gonna my post here. I'm gonna come and dig me out a little impression here. And kind of plant that stick there and notice how I've got it leaning away from the trap I want the curve in it that way because they won't want to walk under this if I try to hike their leg because it'll be over top of their back and be bumping into them right here so I want the curve away from where the trap is. I'm gonna make that good and solid because I don't want it to fall over when it rains or, or when the wind blows hard. I wanna pack that in good. come in here with my sifter and blend this trail back in up and down the trail and get me a little bit more dirt stand by Okay guys, the only thing left to do is bait this and I'm gonna put some urine and some some uh, coal here on this post. I found this dropping, this scat, I should say, about 200 yards that way and packed it over here and I'm gonna use that as a stepping guide. Right here's my pan. I'm gonna use that as a stepping guide to show them where I want them to step. So I'll get some urine on this post. This is just coyote urine. I'm going to squirt it up here and let it run down the post. And we'll put a little squirt on this side as well. And just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of glands over call here on the post as well. Right there. Don't take much of that. And I'm done. So it's that easy. Hopefully we'll have a couple coyotes at this location in the morning. So here's another version of a scent post set that I, that I make. Uh, it seems like that this works good for me on the diameter of that. That's probably five to six inches, but I like somewhere between six and eight inches diameter on the end of my log. Uh, the bigger ones, the times that I've used a bigger diameter log, it, it seemed like they refused it, and just my experience around here local. But uh, if, if I could stay within a six to eight inch diameter, it seemed like it worked really good for me. Now, I've got a gland lure, coyote gland lure right here up top, and I've got some coyote urine on it. And I've just blended this in to look natural, and uh, I've caught a lot of coyotes that way on this type of set. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate it. It'll help my channel grow and I can get more information out to you guys. Thanks.